I'm Ryan Rosaizo, and this is how to make a CMTE theme. This video will include how to start making a CMTE theme. This is a sequel to my previous video how to set up Android Studio to start making a CMTE theme. So if you didn't check that out, click this area here. What you need is ADB properly set up. So I have already made a video about that and you can click this area for a video on how to properly set up ADB and fast boot. You also obviously need Android Studio all set up and you need a device that's already running CM12 or CM13 or any ROM that has CMTE support or CyanogenMod theme engine. This is one of my unscripted videos. I didn't even prepare a script for this. So anyway, open up Android Studio and then open up the project that you cloned in the previous video. Hit the theme button here. Hit edit configurations. In the launch options section, set launch to nothing and then hit OK. You can see that the X mark here is now gone. Open up file, open up settings, go to build execution de deployment, hit instant run and make sure that enable instant run is unticked we won't be using that now what i want to do is i want to theme a floating action button or fab in the google desk clock app which is something really small so without uh, changing anything i'm just gonna hit run theme and then choose my device, use same selection for future launches, and then hit OK. To know when my theme is done setting up all the overlays, which is currently, there's no overlays now. But anyway, you can set up um, the Android monitor here to debug and then filter by ID map target. But since there's no overlays yet, I'm just going to wait for this installing APK here to be done. And that's it. So when you first install this uh, template without changing anything, you won't be able to see the, th the theme in the template um, in the theme pack section. So what I'm going to do is go to sounds or go to wallpaper or go to something that the theme has. So fonts, sounds, wallpaper and lock wallpaper. And you can see that there's a theme template made by CyanogenMod in there. So now what you're going to do is actually actually get the theme into the theme packs by changing, by theming at least one app. So to theme Google Desk Lock, I'm going to need to pull it out from my device. And to pull it out from my device, I'm going to open up a command window with ADB all set up. I'm going to type in ADB pull data app com dot google dot android dot desk clock dash two slash base dot apk now of course it won't work because i suck oh it was dash one well anyway how did I know this one and why, whether it is dash 2 or dash 1? Well, first, because I've kind of prepared this video before. Second, it was dash 2 before I f made a full wipe. So now it's dash 1 after the full wipe. Third, I actually opened up the desk clock application and then went to its settings, its app info in se inside settings. And there it will tell me what's its um, com name and from there I just went to data app and then its com name and then added a dash one or dash two so now it pulled this base.apk I've renamed it to gclock.apk and I'm and what I'm going to do is with apk tool downloaded from the link in the description down below I'm going to type in apk tool d gclock.apk and hit enter and then after waiting for a couple of minutes, this G clock folder will appear. So I'm going to enter that and then go to res and then go to values, then go to colors.xml. This is the stock Google desk clock um, colors.xml, which we are going to need to edit to change this fab here. So what I'm going to do is open up this Google desk clock app and then click this icon here 
which is the Android device monitor. Then after that, go to Pixel Perfect. If you don't have that here, just add it here from Open Perspective, and then choose Pixel Perfect. And then what I'm going to do is double click on my device and then go to pixel perfect view here. You can ignore the console by closing it. And then I'm going to drag this onto the fab and then click on the red part of the fab. As you can see here, I can now know what is the hex color or hex code of this color, which is DA4336, DA being red, 43 being green, 36 being blue. To give this color so what I'm going to do is find this hex color inside the colors.xml file so DA4336 I'm going to hit ctrl F and look for DA4336 hit enter and as you can see I have one result which is color accent FF at the start is actually the opacity of this color so what I'm gonna do is copy this line and I'm going to create a colors.xml file inside my theme having the same path as this stock colors.xml so I'm going to back up to my working folder go into the theme go to theme source main assets overlays and then create here com.google.android.desk clock you don't have to add dash one or dash two in the theme then create res then create values then create colors.xml open that up paste this line indent it and then hit enter and copy the header and the trailer of this file of the stock file so I'm going to copy this and I'm going to copy the end which is a slash resources to close the resources make sure the indentations is right and what I'm going to change is this color here this value from the stock color to green so red being zero green being full F and then blue being zero going to save that with Control S and then I'm going to open up Android Studio and then as you can see it detected the changes here I'm going to double click that double click colors.xml and as you can see it opened up the newly created colors.xml now I'm going to play the theme project again and while I'm in debug ID map target I can see that the theme already installed and applied the desk clock app here so what I'm going to do is check settings themes for the theme template if it ever shows up in the theme packs and as you can see here it actually shows up so now after applying the theme you can see that the fab is now all green and it actually applied everywhere inside the app so all fabs are now green so this is how you start theming android you can actually sell this theme well not this exact theme because that theme sucks but you can actually sell a full theme on the play store for actual money or if you want to be nice you can make it open source and make everyone collaborate with you to make that perfect theme i hope you learned something new and I hope you liked this video, so hit the thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to my channel for more content like this. I may upload a video on how to theme more complicated stuff using more tools inside the Android device monitor. So thank you all for watching this video. This was Rara Zaizo on how to make a CMTE theme on Android, and I'll see you soon.